Okay, so we're finally at the end. Thank God. All right, William Idell back again for the creative core and we are about to wrap up this tutorial, this four part tutorial, editorial, magazine, layout, design, in, in design, all right? So uh, when we left off last, we were working on the title, which came out pretty sweet for Gucci Revolution. Uh, today, uh, we will be uh, working on the credits, uh, which will be for the wardrobe. So let's go ahead and jump into that and get started so we can go ahead and end this, all right? <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, we have our title where we left off yesterday or the day before, wherever. Well, I don't know when I'm posting this video. Um, credits, yeah. So let's pull up this PDF file and let's see what we're working with here. Uh, if you are subscribed with Adobe, you should be able to edit in um, Adobe Acrobat. Sometimes I get credits for, uh, in Word file, like WordPad. Uh, sometimes I get them like this. Either way is cool, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit. And uh, usually what I'll do is uh, I will create a, well, first of all, let's pull up the, uh, I know I'm talking, I'm rambling right now. Sorry about that. Let's, let's pull up the looks. All right, so for the first look, we have this right here and the same outfit on this. So if I'm putting up credits for a wardrobe and it's on my title and it's on the next page, I will usually put the credits on the second page. So in fashion magazines, uh, if you ever read them or check them out, you'll notice that it might be one look, look meaning one specific uh, look of a wardrobe from head to toe where there's you know glasses, accessories, hat, you know, dress, shorts, shirt, whatever, whatever that look is that we're shooting. You'll see that on one page and you might see it on the second page. If it's on two different pages, the same look, but it's two different poses, they wanna keep the, the same look for two different pages because they love the looks, I mean the, the poses, you, they'll usually put the credits on one page. Um, I rarely see that they put them on both pages because they automatically you know expect you to understand okay that's the same thing you know why put it on two different pages so uh it's me personally that's just a waste of time i'm not gonna put the same credit on every look that you have and if it's a fashion magazine it's rare that they're gonna have the same look on two pages they each page is usually gonna be a totally different look because if they have a great stylist they're not gonna put the same look on each page but in this case you know we have the same look on this page and this one as well with this yellow dress and with this one so I'm not tripping it's just that I'm gonna put the credits on the second page because as you can see we already have this title going on up here where well, I put the credit at the bottom saying shoes by Gucci dress by this uh, scarf by this you know put it on this page same with this look right here I would just leave this page alone and then put the credits like on this page right here. Same with this dress. I think she has the same jacket on here and I'll probably put the credits down here at the bottom. So uh, depending on the magazine, some some people like to have big credits. Some people like to have small credits. I like to have small credits because I don't want it taken away from the image. Um, so my choice of font for credits is usually I think Source Pro. Source Pro. Source something I don't know, source. S O, where's my S O? Source Sand Pro. And we just type something right quick. Yeah, that's what I want to use. Alright, so 8234 is the image we're working with. Let's take a look. Here we go. Dressed by Gucci, at Gucci, the handle for Instagram. I'm glad they put that in there so if I post this on Instagram, I don't have to go and type all that, it's already typed up. 
um, acrylic handbag by Rialato Vintage. So, I said we got Dress by Gucci. Dress. Why is this in big fonts? Take the small caps off. Gucci. And, and you know what? I'm going to put at Gucci also. And acrylic handbag by Rialato. Usually what I like to do also is just highlight the credits and type them in. I mean, and paste it. Because I don't want to get into a habit of someone emailing me saying, hey, can you go back and change the credit? The credit is wrong. Or if I'm typing really fast and um, I might forget sometimes to go back and check the credits for each editorial, which is very time consuming. So to take the blame off of me, I would just copy whatever they sent me. That's why I tell people in my emails, make sure your credits are right and they are correct because it's not on me to go back and change stuff because you know your stylist is reading through the magazine after it's been published and they're like oh that credit's messed up you know their email and then the photographer emailed me hey can you change that you know we made a mistake i'm like i'm not going back to change that you know i mean i change i'll, I'll go back you know i, I do support my guys because they support me but um in some cases, you know, I just have to put my foot down because, you know, I, I tell people ahead of time, look, you know, take care of that before you email me because it's going to be a lot of work going back to make those adjustments. So um, I'll copy everything they sent me and I'll just paste it. So if something comes up and they're like trying to put the blame on me, I'm like, look, I copied and pasted exactly what you sent. And I'll pull up and screenshot what they sent. I'm like, this is exactly what I copied and pasted. And they'll be like, oh, sorry about that. All right. What I like to do is make the, the brand, their name a little bigger. I'll probably go up to like 10, maybe 11 and probably go regular acrylic handbag Arialto. let's go right around and I like to make the subject italic subject meaning whatever uh, the clothing is or accessory light italic there we go then I like to put it right above like that credits now I, I usually won't have my credits this big I'll probably shrink it down a little bit it's about right right there like I said I don't want it to take away from the image you know a lot of people are like well that's small not, not really I mean once this is printed and you know it arrives to the, the the person's door and they're looking at it you know you can clearly read it even if it's digital uh, the digital copies you can zoom in and because we're doing this in InDesign and not Photoshop this is gonna look very very sharp which is why uh, if you're gonna be doing anything in print whether it's brochures, flyers, uh, business cards, uh, pamphlets, um, anything that's gonna be for like billboard, anything that's print design that, that should be printed you should do it in InDesign um, or Illustrator because you can stretch the text in the font and it doesn't look blurry once you stretch it unlike Photoshop you know the pixels are going to get very very blurry you know the pixels in InDesign and Illustrator do not you know get blurry when you stretch them out so that's a bonus which is why you, you should design in this uh, program alright so that's one and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just copy and paste this and I think what I want to do is align this to the right and I want this up top because I don't want it taken away from the handbag at the bottom. So I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put one, copy and paste this. Probably about right there. And copy and paste this one. You double click inside and turn the color to black. Put this over here. 
the line to the left and last one I'm gonna put I usually don't like putting them down in the inside right corner because that's your opening in the magazine you don't want to you know pull it back and bend the seam just to see you know credits so I will want them on the left so I might just go up here align it to the left there you go all right so let's go fill these in so this dress is 80.95 all right yep 80.95 and what is this young lady wearing well Bob she's wearing a green dress by Gucci hair barret by Marc Jacobs it's like a TV uh, come on down so dress by Gucci 8095 right yeah so I'm not changing that we just have to uh, change the hair barret by mr. Mark Jacobs so let's go barret hair so I copied and pasted that because I don't want to misspell barret even though this does have spell check I just don't um, like I said earlier I don't feel like going through the hassles of going through all that you know double checking spelling and that's a lot of work that's why you need a team of people also it's like because if I'm if I'm adamant about making doing the design and making sure my designs are right because I uh, I built this and I, I want a certain look for my magazine I will want someone else to be coming behind me to check all the credits and um, you see 8396 and making sure everything matches up and it takes a lot of weight off of me you know I could be working on something else while someone on my team is making sure the credits are right and um, all the uh, Instagram ha Instagram handles are correct so everyone gets their proper credits But until you get people like that that are dedicated to work towards what you are doing and have the same vision, you have to do it yourself. So it's like no complaining, you just have to hump it out. All right, sweater and shorts. Uh, I'm gonna do a little case by Gucci. See what I mean? See, I, see I almost just left that R. I was about to go RS, and I probably would've kept typing. By Gucci, shirt by Brunello. Hmm, sounds Italian. Shirt by this guy. I think this is a men's brand though. Brunello Cuni, Cun, Cuccinelli? Am I saying that right? This is why I said I need to pick up and learn some more languages because in this business, when you're dealing with fashion, you're dealing with a lot of um, cultures. You're dealing with Italian cultures, of course, um, French, you know, Canadian, German, Russian. I have a lot of people from Russia sending me stuff. And um, it's like I need to find time to uh, get me some audiobooks and just sit down and listen to them. That way when I see these names, I, I, I could just say it and it'll roll off my tongue and, and, and it sounds great. Not only that, like I said in my last video, if I get invited to a uh, fashion week or fashion event or art gallery showing and there are people of that caliber there who speak multiple languages, it would be very impressive if I just walked in speaking like them. It's like, whoa, this is black guy speaking Russian. What is the world coming to? Okay, why is this Gucci so bold? Let's make you other guys bold because you know what? Yep, I think I, I had the first one in regular, now these aren't regular. You know, I think that trips people out also to see a magazine of my caliber and to think it's not like a woman uh, behind it because a lot of people think fashion is like oh it has to be women doing all that know that much about fashion and hair and beauty or if it's not a white person no offense you know to any of my followers or whatever but you know 
you know, most black guys when it comes to this type of stuff, you know, speaking especially, you know, fashion, beauty, and hair, and all that type of stuff. Um, I hate to say it, it's usually the stereotypical, um, hold up, 83.96. Did I put that on the wrong thing? Yellow dress, I did. This goes up here to this chick. Uh, back to what I was saying, um, stereotypically, you know, speaking, I hate to say it, you know, most African American males are usually shooting females who are showing mostly skin. I mean, you, you could just check your Instagram and, and see off the bat, you know, you know, like the sisters are always, you know, they're not just swimsuits, you know, you know, all this is out, all the all the back is out and you know and it's some little catchy caption like oh i'm getting money and this and all this and it's always nude shots it's i rarely see you know people in my culture you know shoot high fashion editorial and when i do they're already with a signed agency you know um and uh it kind of sucks because you know, I'm sitting here trying to break into this industry and, and show that, you know, I have what it takes. And um, not only that, but to show people in my culture that, hey, we can do this just as much as anybody else. You know, it's kind of hard finding people to get on board and uh, support the cause. Like I started Seven Hughes Noir and um, hair accessories. And I rarely get that many, you know, submissions and people sending me work for that magazine. And I, I purposely created it for people of culture and people of color. But, you know, I, I get more editorials from, you know, Caucasians and Eastern Europe and Hispanics, you know, and most African-Americans, you know, they won't send me any, you know, work when it comes to high fashion. You know, and I sit back, evaluate things. You know, it's it's always the same case. It's, it's not you can't you you can never find a good stylist who can uh, put together a wardrobe that's worthy of you know that that caliber. And and I, I also blame the photographers. Like I'm a photographer, right? And I notice a lot of photographers online. Every time I see them post a post about wanting to shoot it's like oh i'm at the studio come by and shoot let's hook up let's i got some ideas i got some ideas and then when i when i see them post their work it's just a chick with her clothes off you know like grease down and you know posing on the bed or you know it's, it's some boring shot it's like anybody could take a, a picture with a chick with her clothes off i mean that's easy there's no creativity behind it you know and, and and it gets so many likes and comments and everybody, yes, yes, y'all killed that, yeah. I'm like, what did you kill? You know, is it? I'm like, an uh, uh, awesome shot is somebody coming in with a rack of wardrobe, a table full of accessories you can choose from, you know, a killer makeup artist, a killer hairstylist, um, you know, a couple of assistants, you know, a shot with, you know, just multiple things on, you know, I mean, even if it's not, you know, high end like this chick here with Gucci, Vinci, and Prada and Dolce Gabbana, you know, even if you don't have the money, which which is the excuse I hear all the time, well, we, we can't get all that, but actually you can. I mean, I mean, if you know how to talk to people and you can write letters to certain companies and certain stores, like, look, we're doing a photo shoot, and um, we'll take all responsibility for the clothing, we'll watch it, and uh, we'll bring it back, everything in one piece, you know. You know, a lot of people will work with you, you know, but you have to make that step. You know, it's so many people always just giving excuses as to why, you know, they can't shoot this type of work, you know, or they can't present this type of work. So since they're so used to giving excuses and they're not willing to try, what do they do? They go to a photo shoot and they just, oh, just, you know, take your clothes off or put on something real tight and skimpy and, you know, we gonna post it on Instagram. That's what trips me out by a lot of chicks. It's like, I'm not no Instagram model. I, I'm doing, I'm being sponsored by this. And I know actually you are an Instagram model. I mean, if, if you don't have a website and you don't have a portfolio, your only portfolio is on Instagram, you know, or Facebook. 
you know I mean you're not doing any runway shows um, uh, you're not trying to get published in any you know magazines and most of your pictures are just shot with no clothes on and if you do have any clothes on you, you don't want to post it because you know you, you, you're so busy trying to show off I want to say show off compete you know, and that's the sad thing about Instagram because you have a lot of females competing with each other and I don't know why they compete with each other. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's like, there's so much work out there for everybody. You know, I've heard one girl tell me, she's like, man, I, I wish you'd come up here and shoot in Atlanta. You know, we, we need more photographers who uh, can shoot fashion and do this and all that because most of these guys, they don't. And that's why I said I blame the photographers. They're not pushing themselves to want to shoot this type of stuff. You know, they're just calling the girls over and they're like, okay, I got an idea. I'm gonna go do some body paint. Put some glitter and sprinkles on you and they just splat out. Yes. You know, yes. You know, and then it's just like, okay, that's so old. I mean, it's been done before millions of times. You know, I don't get it. I, I seriously don't get it. I mean, then when you finally do find some, some African-Americans, some people of a different culture shoot something, you know, it's so beautiful and amazing, but the thing about it is that you don't get enough of it. It's like, I don't get enough of it. You know, I always get more Caucasians and uh, I always get a lot of males too. Now, one thing about African-American males, I do get a lot of African-American male uh, submissions, but it's, it's kind of the same way with the females also. It's like, oh, take off your shirt, show my six pack, show my abs, and yeah, I'm so buff. You know, it's like, I'm more of a dapper guy. You know, I like suits, you know, Armani, you know, uh, uh, what's using what's what's my suits? I wear a lot of uh, Express. I love Express, Hollister. Um, I, my money's not up yet for the Armani and the Boss, but I'm working towards that in the Tom Ford. But I like that type of stuff, watches and you know fitted you know type of clothing. And I uh, I want to look uh, forward to seeing more of that in my men's magazine. Uh, like I say, same thing with the females. It's easy to just take your clothes off and just, you know, that stuff is for body and swimwear. You know, if I if I want to have a, a workout body magazine or men's fitness or something, then I, I'll be cool with seeing it. You know, I have, to, I have to tell people all the time, you know, I have to turn down a lot of submissions because I'm like, that's not what I'm looking for. Well, it's a men's magazine, yeah, but that's not the aesthetics of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a more dapper gentleman, you know, James Bondish. You know, I'm real old school, I'm young. But I'm old school. I like the guys from back in the day, you know, the mustache, the hat, you know, the pipe, you know, a, a real man, gentleman, you know, I, I like that type of look. So, um, but yeah, back to the females, it's just, you know, the, ph the photographers need to step it up, you know, they, they need to go study people that's been doing it before them. Uh, Gucci Rowe editor by Richard Shoe Photography, you know, and, and go practice. And, and try. I mean, when I, when I started doing what I was doing, I w the first thing I did was is study everyone that I thought was awesome, and I tried to emulate everything they tried to do, even if I didn't have all the equipment, even if I didn't have all the, the beautiful models, you know, the 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 stunning wardrobe. I would go to Goodwill, you know, and just buy dirt clothes, and then I would take those clothes and make and try to make them look like they were worth, you know, hundreds of dollars. You know, I mean, that's that's imagination, that's creativity. You know, but you have some people like, well, we don't have that, so we're just gonna go, you know, shoot the ratchet stuff, you know? So, I mean, it's ratchet to me. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's art, you know? I mean, just cause you take your clothes off and you pose new, it's not art. I'm so tired of people saying that. Oh, it's art, it's beautiful. No, you, you just wanna take your clothes off cause it's hundreds and thousands of females on Instagram with their clothes off and you feel intimidated to do the exact same thing because if you don't do it, you don't feel like you're gonna make it in this in this industry. I mean, it's, it's models out there who's not even signed to agencies and, they're, and they, their portfolio look 10 times better than theirs without the followers. And the reason they don't have the followers is because, you know, you have everyone out there looking for that that same look, you know, same chick with, with, with the breast style and all, that's just boring. I get so tired of seeing your skin, you know. I know some chicks in like, you'll never have a girlfriend. I'm like, well, I guess I won't, man, because that stuff is born, it's played out. I mean, they have seriously played that out online, man. To the point that it's just like, okay, here's another chick with her clothes off. Okay, what else is new? You know, 
I know sex sells and everything, but jeez. Someone draw the line. And these dudes need to stop gassing them up, you know, all in their DM, in their inbox. Oh, you sexy. Oh, you this. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Let me, what's your number? I'll eat the box and toss the salad and eat your groceries and all that type of stuff, man. You guys are pathetic, man. I can't stand you dudes. If you listen to this, I can't stand you dudes. <laughs> that dude is, yo, get out these chicks inboxes and DMs, man. And stop gassing these chicks up, man. And making these chicks think they all that. And they really not, man. Please stop. You know, it's just, ugh. Then when they come across a guy like me, they're like, what's wrong with him? Why he ain't? Nah, because I'm not like those guys. I'm not no yes man. I'm not, you know, I'm not just going to bow and kiss your, you know, your toes and, and just, and, and, and kiss your butt, you know, and because you, because you got a million followers. Or I got 500,000 followers. You're supposed to treat me like, that. no, no. You're just like every other. See, a lot of chicks don't understand. Us photographers, <laughs> we know how they really look. You know, when I get these raw images at the photo shoot, and you see these chicks before all the makeup is put on, before all the, the, the hair is done, you see what they really look like, you know? You know, and they, they will never post those pictures online because they know that's how they really look. You know, I, and as a photographer and a retoucher, someone who's been sitting here, you know, for an hour or two, working on their face to make them look like, you know, something out of a movie. You know, that stuff doesn't impress me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, your followers don't impress me. You don't impress me. Cause I know once you get home and take all that stuff off and, and take all your clothes off and everything, you look just like a regular person, you know? And I, I try to tell people that, you know, stop, you know, making these people uh, look like they're gods because they're not they're regular people just like you and me you know it's just that they they take that to advantage and they go online and so many people in their head boosting their ego they play the role and you know and people just you know they bite it you know and they, they I mean they bite to the hook and then, you know they just roll with it so but yeah that stuff doesn't impress me man I know what them chicks really look like when they take that stuff off. You know, they're like some, any normal chick you look like, if you walk into CVS, a Walgreens, a Chick-fil-A, it's like, oh, okay, all right, just another chick. But they, but they they go retouch all those photos and put it on Instagram with all those filters, and everyone all they, all thirsty in the comments, oh, you sexy, this, no, oh, it's just, it's a fabricated image, man. You know, that's her, but that's really not her. Yeah, I know there's a lot of females probably like, oh, he's just a hater, this and that. Man, I'm just speaking facts, man. I'm not talking down, I'm not talking negative. I'm just talking about, I'm just speaking from what, you know, my experience and what I deal with in, uh, okay, that didn't copy, in, in this business, you know. Stop, um, you know, especially if, if, you're, if you're listening to this and you're someone who might have low self-esteem, you know, don't let people you know, that's why I'm really talking like this. It's not to talk down on anybody. It's really to help kind of like boost the confidence of people who, who may have low self-esteem, who may be on Instagram or online, and they see these people and they think, oh, I gotta have, I gotta go get butt surgery or, or some implants or lip implants, or I need to have my, my makeup done every day, and I need to have, you know, my bundles of hair and this and that and all that. Yo, cut it out, man. Love yourself, for real, you know? Love what God gave you. You know, and the more you appreciate yourself, the, the, the less you'll care about what everybody else says, you know. I can care less about it. And, you know, I guess I'm like that because I can, I can talk about myself. You know, I'm not, you know, I can talk about my teeth, you know, the scars, my my hair. When my hair used to be all the way down my back, now I'm bald. You know, you know, I can, I can just go off on myself and feel confident and still cool when I wake up. You know, so nobody can really say nothing about me that that hurt me, at all. Nothing. Can't say anything that affaze me. You know, I think the problem with people now, I mean, especially in this country, people have gotten so sensitive. You know, it's just to the point that uh, you have to look like a robot or a mannequin, or you have to look so fake to feel good, and you think that makes you feel good, but really you're still sad inside, dying inside, and you know it.
All right, I don't know how we got off on that scourging. I will talk about life from time to time on my channel, so uh, get used to that. I speak from the heart a lot, and I will randomly get off topic sometimes and just start talking about life. But we're not over there anymore, we're here. And the credits are done. And let's take a look what we got. I didn't know this guy's name was so long. Richard Shu. What I think I'm gonna do is drop this down and drop photography down to the right there so it's, it doesn't take up the whole uh, width of this, you know, this section right here. I kind of want this consolidated a little bit. There we go. Credits laid. Boom. One right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right here. All right. So we're done. Woo. Oh, the sun is out. It's starting to get warm. Before I go, I'm going to teach you guys one quick trick. And that's um, with the credits. Say for instance, I want the credits to like wrap around her waist, right? Because if you just do this, it's not going to do that. What you need to do is plot the pen tool and draw down the area. And you can make this little section right here, which is cool. Now what you want to do is go to this little section right here where it says text warp and you click on that and you just click on either wrap around the box or wrap around the, uh, the object shape. You have to play with it and see what you like best but once you do that this is what happens when you bring the text in. You see that? See how it wraps around? So if you click on where is that box at? So you don't want to wrap around the box because the box is this box right here. So wrap around the shape. So that's what you do. Text warp. Always remember that that, that that option is always usually next to the character in the paragraph. So it shouldn't be hard to find. But always remember just grab the pen tool and draw out the section where you want um, the text to wrap around. Then push the text against it and it'll wrap against that object. That way it doesn't look like the text is just sitting there floating in midair. Now it looks a little better from a distance. Also, you can push it out some if it's too close to the dress and it'll still retain that same warp. See, that looks a little better. It's not all close up on the dress. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'll be doing more tutorials in InDesign. I have a lot of people hit me up on my Will My Dell Instagram asking me about magazine layout. So, um, and I have to check the footage because I don't know if my camera cut off while I was talking or not so I don't know what's missing or not so um, after viewing the numbers that went up on my reaction video I'll probably be doing more of those since I, I am a serious avid movie watcher and anime watcher so look forward to more of those and I appreciate the new subscribers that's on my page so um, in the comments drop down uh, anything you would like me to teach so uh, whether it's an InDesign, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, After Effects. Uh, if you guys need help uh, with graphics for um, your personal Instagram page, I'll probably be doing some videos since Instagram launched the IGTV. So I can show you guys how to make, you know, cool, awesome videos for your IGTV. Also, um, did I mention After Effects? Yeah, After Effects I did, okay. I'll probably be posting more uh, fashion films also and behind the scenes for my photo shoots. So, until next time. Yeah. Thanks thanks again also to my new subscribers, man. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, it's funny, I have more followers on Instagram than I do on <laughs> YouTube. And I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that have a lot of followers, but their Instagram is like low, which is kind of weird. So I'm trying to get, I'm tr trying to get back into doing videos and uh, teaching. I love to teach. So I'll see you guys next time.
hit the subscribe button notification button thanks appreciate it hollas